ओके हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर नेहा आई एम अ पब्लिक हेल्थ स्पेशलिस्ट बाय प्रोफेशन बट एन एजुकेटर एंड मेंटोर एंड गाइड बाय पैशन सो टुडे आई हैव कम अप विद अनदर वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो व्हिच इज अगेन अ पीएसएम टिप एंड देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजंस दैट स्टूडेंट्स हैव विद रिगार्ड टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो इट इज अबाउट अ नेस्टेड केस कंट्रोल स्टडी डिजाइन नाउ आई विल जस्ट क्विकली टेल यू अबाउट इन वेरी ब्रीफ विद इमेजेस व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज अ नेस्टेड केस कंट्रोल स्टडी डिजाइन so uh, these are the various links where you can find me this is my telegram group link telegram channel you can join it for all psm updates and uh, uh, you know solving mcqs you can find me on instagram also for my lectures on an academy you can uh, click on this link and um, of course if you want to subscribe to an academy neat pg fmg batch courses you can subscribe and you can get an additional 10% off using my code dr neha 10 Now let us go to the question for the day. All right, the question for the day is: This is uh, identify the type of study design. Is it a case control study? Is it a cohort study, a retrospective cohort, or a nested case control? Now, in my previous videos, I have discussed about retrospective cohort study design. How do they look about case control and cohort? Today, I am telling you nested case control. so if you look at this image of nested case control actually what does it mean nested case control it means something is nested within something okay so this is case control study which is initiated within a cohort study is actually a nested case control okay look over here you have a defined cohort you're waiting for developed disease for some for some period of years to see how many developed disease how many do not develop disease and from them only those who develop disease become your cases and those who do not develop become your control now i'm going to tell you how exactly it works all right this nested case control study design is most commonly used in when we are talking about stem cell research okay let us try to understand that this is another image that i've brought for you in your entrances you could get a straight away image like this uh look over here this is a cohort design and this is a case control study design and what we've done it that this becomes basically your nested case control this is your study population study cohort available in nested case control study this is divided into exposed non exposed from those who develop the cases and those who do from that cohort only some develop the case and some do not develop the case they become the controls okay so now let us try to understand what exactly is a nested case control study design so suppose we have a cohort of uh, say newborns okay who were born in a hospital in say september 2020 okay they form a cohort suppose these were 1000 children okay 1000 newborns now remember nested case control is done in cases of stem cell research okay now this is the best example now all those children who were born in 10000 uh, uh, in september 2020 these 1000 newborns we have taken the mothers antenatal history we have also taken their blood samples these kids these newborns we have preserved their blood samples we have preserved their stem cells we've also say preserved their urine samples now what happens we start following this cohort okay we follow them up to say 10 years 20 years we keep following them after say 50 years what happens that 50 newborn this was a cohort of 1000 newborn now 50 newborns from this cohort of 1000 newborn go on to develop a disease okay who are now actually what they have now actually become adults so 50 adults who were then newborns in september 2020 after 50 years go on to develop a disease so they become your cases so this is how much 50 develop disease that means your controls kon ho jate hain my controls become the remaining one which is 9950 adults so within this cohort only i have followed them up for 50 years and after 50 years out of this cohort 50 went on to develop a disease became cases and 9950 who did not develop a disease became control now what i go so far what is happening that i have followed them forward in time that means temporality is there okay i have forward them forward 
I have followed them forward in time. Okay, now what happens? This, after they've become cases and control, now what I do, look at this arrow, I go back retrospectively. Okay, which is a feature of which study design? Case control. So I go back retrospectively, I access the antenatal histories of these 50 children who were then registers, 50 newborns. I analyze their blood samples. I analyze their urine samples. And I find out, I just have to analyze the samples of these 50 adults who have now developed some disease okay and I find out that when they were newborns in their blood samples say thyroid was deranged or some other lipid some some other value some other parameter was deranged which I could conclude as the cause of disease now or the mother had consumed some some drug during her antenatal period okay so what 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 actually happened first i followed them first i had a cohort i followed them up over a period of time so this was the feature of a cohort study that temporality maintained after that these cases that were developed and those who did not develop disease became control i went back retrospectively which is a feature of case control study. I looked at the data, okay, I've divided them into cases and control and analyzed it, okay, and I said that this could be the cause of the diseases now. So what actually happened? This was a smaller case control, okay, this was a smaller case control that was vested in a this is a bigger cohort. This became a part of vested in a bigger cohort. Now, what is the advantage that I got out of it? Number one, it removed my ethical concerns. Okay, there was no ethical issues. Also, it did not uh, serve that expensive because I had to access only the, I had to do the analysis of only the uh, cases, the samples of the cases. So, this is the feature of a nested case control study design. This is actually what is a nested case control study design. If somebody asks you, is it a type of prospective or a retrospective study? So, please remember a nested case control study design, this comes as MCQ, is a type of prospective study design. Why? Because you has come you had a cohort and you've come forward you have maintained the temporality and that is why it is known uh, it is it's it's and then cases in control developed which are part of this bigger cohort okay and therefore since we followed them up over a period of time therefore it is a prospective study design so I hope this was uh, was clear to all of you available. I have shown you with the images also. Look over here. Okay, this is very, very important. Okay, exposed, non-exposed. They went to develop cases, control. And then once they've become the cases, I go back, look back again to analyze the data of only these cases I will be doing it. Therefore, it is a nested case control. So, I hope this small video has helped you understand uh, nested case control and if you liked the video, do like, comment and subscribe and I will come again soon with another uh, PSM tip. If you have any questions regarding any of the PSM tips or you want to learn something, you want to know about some other topic in PSM, do uh, comment me, do put your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.